is Roll Biscuit and we in the better team. The roof off like Houdini, baby. <laughs> Gar ain't got no roof. We be in the city. We be in the city, baby. This is the first episode of Vent Talk. I had a Vent Talk before, but guess what? That was when I was just sitting in the vent, not driving it. So this is the first talk. This is the first episode of Vent Talk, and we're going to be answering some questions. Q and A. Do you feel me, Bay Bay? This one's going to be a little bit more low key. It's not going to be all that yelling and stuff going on. We've been in Jones chilling, baby, with the roof off, with the Draco. Draco sitting in the book bag. Right, look the AC. Y'all don't even know, baby. I got the Draco, baby. So I got the Draco. I told y'all guys I was going to get AK dinner. I got two AKs the other day. If you didn't watch that video, you want to go back and watch that video, baby. But. Um, I couldn't show me going to get the AK. I actually just picked this one up today. Well, both of them up today. The other one got the red wood, baby. <laughs> I wish me. Wait, I wish him up wood. Red wood, I wish him up wood. So we're gonna whip around and we're gonna answer some of you guys' questions that you guys have. And with these videos, you can guys ask, you can ask any questions you want to ask. Whatever you want to know, just ask. And I'm gonna give you the best answer. I'm gonna give you the answer best of my knowledge. Hey, and I ain't go to college. <laughs> but I ride around in the bed. No disrespect. Okay, so question number one comes from Mike and he says, how long have you been a real estate agent and how was the process for you to become one? Um, first off, huge shout out to Mike. Huge shout out to everybody who asked, who asked any question on the q and I appreciate everybody who's welcome to the channel. But um, how long, wait, when did I come a real estate agent? I became a real estate agent in 2018, May 4th, was it May 4th or 5th? 4th. May 4th of 2018. So let me just go, I'm going to a little bit more. I'm gonna go May 4th, 2018, and the process wasn't that bad. We took a class, we had to go to the class, you had to pass the class test, and you had to go to take state test. And that is where I ran my business partner at, for those of you who don't know. That's where we met at. So I know y'all don't know a lot of stuff why I call my business partner. It's all because we met at the real estate class, and that was in 2018, and we just messed well because guess what? Everybody was supposed to come to the class, everybody in the class was supposed to read at the library and uh, study for this exam and nobody came but me and her. So that's pretty much what happened. And then on top of that, what made us both know that we messed well was because on the state exam, she got a 92 and on the, uh, on the state exam, she got a 92 and on the federal exam, she got 96 and I got the opposite. On the state exam, I got 96 and on the federal, I got a 92. So that's pretty much how we met. If you guys didn't know, I'm just gonna let you know. I'm, in these videos, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more in-depth answers. Um, so that's how we're gonna do it, baby. Okay, question number two comes from Zero, and he says, what's the most you've ever made in a week while multi-apping? Huge shout out to Zero! Zero! That's the only thing, Zero! Um, you wanna be honest, the honest, first off, on these questions, I'm gonna be completely honest. I have no clue, I'm just gonna tell you straight up. I guess the Macy probably 23, 2400, I don't know, somewhere probably around there, because we did have one day we made 666, $667. So, I'm guessing probably around 22 or 2300 together. But by yourself? See, I, I, I've got another question about this. I know it's another question on that because I saw some of the questions. And the other question was something about how much did I make by myself. And to be honest with you guys, I do not know because I don't even really look at the money. I'm going to tell you this. I don't look at the money. I don't pay attention to money. You want to know why? Because all the money we invested, all, all of the money we invested. We don't go spend it. We don't pay bills and all that stuff with it. We invested all. That's how I got the Bitcoin. That's how I bought some Ethereum. That's how I'm buying the guns and all that different stuff and making some investments with the money. Because guess what? You got to make the money and then you got to make the money work for you. You got to have little babies. Tell your mother, hey man, go ahead, go get her pregnant. Go get. You got to make them little babies, baby. So then your babies. So then your kids can make some kids, 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 kids. That's what it's all about. Generational wealth. Okay, and question number three. Huge shout out to Jessica because, you know, this is a really good question. She says, how do you stay so positive? Um, to be honest, Jessica, I'm not always positive, but I just, look, I try to look at things in a different light because everything in life has a negative and a positive to it. So it just depends on how you look at it. So some people can say, oh, well, let me see. Oh, somebody stole 
five dollars from me and then find out who did it and the other way you can look at it is somebody stole five dollars from me from me god gave me a, a great situation because they didn't steal five hundred dollars from me they only stole five so now you can just cut them off from the five instead of five hundred or five thousand or five million so that's just how i try to look at things i try to look at it um in a positive manner because man we ain't promised tomorrow man we all could go one day and honestly i really like seriously i know y'all probably don't know this i really came from nothing so what can i really be mad about like for real for real like what can i really be upset about like i'll be wasting my time and even when we were poor and we ain't had none, i wasn't mad then so now that i'm up why why would i be mad that's just how that's just how i look at things you know what i'm talking about so when you're out there door dashing or multi-apping, do you ever get agitated because it's not going your way? Um, I don't, I don't think, I don't think about like going my way. I don't think it's that way. I think what's meant to be is, be, is meant. What's meant to be will be. I think that maybe that reason, that day I wasn't supposed to make that much. That's just how I look at it. Because again, I'm going to tell you guys, like I just told you guys in the last question, the money that we make, I don't even pay attention to it because I invest the money anyway. So it's not like I really need this money so I can go pay bills or do anything that's very important to me we are gonna have uh sometimes we're gonna get a little frustrated and all that stuff but i try my best not to project that on other people because they didn't they didn't they ain't their problem they ain't do nothing to me to make me feel that way so i don't want to give if i'm feeling bad or down or negative right then i don't want to be around other people to rub it off on them because negative energy transfers from one party to the next so if i come in with a negative attitude all i'm gonna do is rub it off on the next person this is how i look at stuff okay so the next question is number four it comes from edward and he wants to know, he says he loves your work and have you ever looked at Amazon Flex? Ed, Ed, Ed and Eddie, what's going on, Ed? He shout out to you. He shout out to just he shout out to everybody who asked these who asked these questions. Um yes, we did Amazon Flex! 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 We did do Amazon Flex, baby. We already we already knocked that out. And we're planning on doing some more. So stay tuned for those videos. I'm trying to get it more into the Amazon Flex. It's just the only thing that the issue is with us is that it's so far out, it's not really close to our area. It's probably like 45 minutes away for the most part so we're definitely going to try to set up some things so we can go boom do one and then do another do another so it can make it worth our time and, and gas money to drop out there and do it but we definitely gonna do some amazon flex 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 and as you saw in the previous videos by this time um how did you like the first amazons that you did do the first one I, the first one was the best one of, that's the best day that we ever had because guess what we got some free money free money I like it. We got that free money, baby. So I wouldn't complain about that at all. The second time, it actually wasn't that bad. It's all—all all of it is a learning curve, so it's kind of new to me. So I'm just learning as I go, and that's what I suggest everybody who's watching this video to do. Because guess what? We gotta learn someday. Everybody gotta learn someday. You become professional by steady doing it over and over and over. The first time, I know that some people be nervous to try new stuff, but you guys gotta do it. That's all. That's all I like to do. One thing about me is when stuff I kind of get. Like when new stuff, I just like go ahead first. I just like to go straight in. If it's something that I feel is gonna be bad, I like to go straight in. I want the bad stuff first, and I'll get to the, the, the good stuff later. Okay, the next question comes from Derek, and he says, what editing software do you use to edit your videos? What's that? Derek. Derek, D, my guy D, what's going on, brother? You shout out to you for asking this question. I use feel more now. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm gonna, tell you, I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna keep it G real with you, cuz I like to read this, I'm gonna keep it G real with you, cuz, look. For more, I've been tweaking a little bit lately. I ain't gonna lie. For more, has been tweaking. They've been doing a lot of updates and all the stuff. Been a little tweaking. So, I do. I do. Honestly, it's pretty easy to use. So that's why I like to use that one. Uh, we maybe later we may upgrade to another thing, but I don't know. But as far as the editing goes, we have been using Film More the whole entire time. So it's pretty simple. To, it's pretty simple. You just cut, paste, and all do that stuff. Put the stuff in there. But honestly, it was running smoothly for before. Now they add all this new stuff into it. That's why I like that new stuff, man. Stop adding new stuff. Just leave it how it was. Because everything's starting to be messed up now. But the video's been coming out good. It's just that I'd have to wait a longer time before I edit the video. I got to, like, let, let it render and all that stuff. But that's pretty much what we use for more. But um, definitely, it ain't that expensive. It's probably like 60 bucks or something like that. I can't remember. It was like $60? Uh, I think like 90 for the whole thing. Well, $90. So $90 holla. We popping our collar. Let's go. Okay. And the next question comes from Jamila, and she says, what have you invested in, and which investments that you made were good, and which ones were bad? Mill, what's going on? She's asking you for answer this question. Um, the investment, so, 
real estate, cryptocurrency, stocks, redefine the brand. Honestly, it's just a lot of stuff. I used to sell replica clothes. I used to, it's a lot of stuff that I invested in over life. I don't know if that really would be considered an investment. I kind of think so because I had to buy the product to sell it to flip it to make money. And more of a hustle, I'm gonna say that. So we're gonna go with real estate, crypto, stocks and bonds, redefine the brand. We trying to get these bands, you understand? Um, I think that real estate was my greatest investment so far, but it's also the thing that I went in first and that property that I put, no, I don't know if I put, maybe yeah, I put the most money in, I'm gonna say that. So real estate has been very lucrative for me, I'm gonna say that. Um, crypto. Oh, Bitcoin been going up a little bit. Y'all see what I'm about the Bitcoin, baby? The Bitcoin been going up a little bit. It ain't been my greatest investment, none, but it's been going decent. Um, the stocks, I have been losing on the stocks, though. I'm going to tell you that. I have been losing on the stocks. Honestly, to be honest, completely honest with you guys, I don't know really much about crypto or stocks because that's not what I do. Real estate was more so my thing, but I'm starting to try to diversify my portfolio and try to spread stuff out instead of just having one, like, all locked up in one thing. So that's why I'm trying to spread it out a little bit. And not be nervous to try different stuff because you never know what might happen and when doing investments it's kind of to be honest it's kind of like a gamble you really don't know what's going to happen the thing about it is it goes up and goes down it goes up and goes down so you try to buy as low as possible you sell as high as possible now um also redefine the brand losing money i lost probably the most money in... oh redefine the brand honestly i redefine the brand now i think about it both of us invested in it. We had to start the company. We had to get everything. It's a lot of stuff we had to do. We had to get an LLC. We had to get a copyright. We had to get a trademark. We had to get all that stuff done. And we still have inventory left because guess what? I was trying to do too much. I was trying to do too much. I was trying to go too hard. She specifically told me we should start off slow. I wanted this ball this stuff. Get this, get this shirt, get this color, color, this color, this color, this color. Get all this stuff. Because I wanted to have it pressed and ready for when the people came. I shouldn't have did it that way. But it's a lesson learned, baby. We didn't lose that much money. We still gained the money because we still had some products. Um, but it's been going decent. It's been picking up more for us. Um, and then my second lowest would be the stocks. Because I've been losing on the stocks too. We both invested 5000 in some different stocks. And they we we down to like thirty six or 500 something like that. But the thing about investing is I don't really count the money now. I count it later. So that's just how I look at it. All right, and the next question comes from Steffi Joe, and she says, how old are you, and why did you decide to stop being a welder? Steffi Joe, what's going on? Huge shout out to you. You be always in the comments. Huge shout out to everybody who asked all of the questions. So, I am big 32 gang. I'm 32 years old, and the reason why I quit my welding job was because they was playing with me. See, I don't like, I don't like be playing with me. So, I was working there for about five years, um, welding, having the good jolly old time that was my last job that that was in 2019 working there and everything then they got new management the new management was doing too much so i had to get up out of there that's pretty much what happened and honestly it was probably the best thing that ever happened to me in my life that's why i'll be saying in some of the rhymes i say the worst thing is probably the best thing that happened to you in your life so you may look at it as a negative honestly i didn't look at it as a negative as at all i didn't look at it as a negative at all because i always felt that i never was, was supposed to work for anybody anyway so I was just going the traditional route like normal people do, go and get a job and all that stuff and work my, but that also helped me save up to get into real estate too. So, I mean, everything happens for a reason, but guess what? We getting this money and we achieving these goals. We on the road, pockets on swole. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and the next question comes from Elmo Cake and he says, do you make the customers drinks if the restaurant wants you to? Elmo out there getting this cake, Andy. Elmo cake. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's a good name. But honestly, I have made customers drinks before at uh, Teriyaki Madness because they require us to do that. So I don't know why they do it. Maybe because they don't want to uh, their pop or something to be flat. I have done it before. It's really not an issue for me. But it, they do get kind of critical though. If you got four drinks, if you got three or four drinks, come on now. You doing too much. You doing too much. Yes, I have made the drinks before. Um, but it's only at that one restaurant. Other than that, I've, I've never really done it before. I would prefer not to do that, but you know, it is what it is sometimes. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, the next question comes from Walton Boys, and it says, what are all the driving apps that you're currently working for? 
first, hold on, hold on, wait. No, my fault, Walter. My fault, my fault. I ain't saying, I'm saying this in the most humblest way. I don't work for them, they work for me. <laughs> I don't work for them, they work for me. So, we do Amazon Flex, 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 Amazon Flex, Uber Eats, DoorDash, Instacart. We're trying to get into GoPuff right now. Um, we had all the way turned up to the maximum. We had all the way sparked up. We got kicked off of that, just in case you, if you in case you ain't know, in case you ain't been staying to the full videos. We got kicked off of that. Um, man, I think that is. We did the medical care thing. That didn't work out too well either. That's about it. We have Rody and Go. Oh yeah, yeah. We oh, just haven't done them. Rody, Rody. Every time we try to pick a Rody order, because we want to make a video about the Rody order. But every time they always send it out, give it out to another driver for some odd reason. I really don't know how the app works. If you guys know a little bit more about the apps and everything, please comment below and let me know because I don't know what's going on, but I'm trying to get it on. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, so the next question is from MXY, and they say, how many days do you work a week, and how much do you make by yourself, not including your partner? Guess what? MXY. Why not? <laughs> That's a good one. MXY. Um... We work seven days a week. The grind don't stop till the casket drop. Huge shout to Target. That's his quote. The grind don't stop until the casket drop. So we grind every single day of the week, Monday through Sunday. We getting this Monday. And what's the most? What? How much do I make by myself? I honestly don't know because I don't pay attention to all that stuff. I I just don't. I don't look at it. I don't look at how much I made versus how much she made. I don't. I don't even compare because guess what? When you're at, when you are a team, together each achieve more. Together each achieve more. That's what stand, that's what teams stand for. Together each achieve more. So we do it as a team, and we get this green. That's what just what we do. Um, so I really don't know how much I've made by myself. I really don't even pay attention to it. I, honestly, I just go ahead and get busy, and I make the. I really honestly, I really even still doing this to make the content for you guys, keep you guys motivated, and go out there and get this money. That's really what it is, because. I get bored of it sometimes. I ain't go. I was just keeping. I'm gonna keep it G real with you, cause I get bored because it's like the same thing over and over and over. As I try to do different apps, switch it up a little bit, try to come up with different ways to do the video, different videos, all that stuff. So if you guys have any video suggestions, go ahead and put that in the comments section. Cause we snap and we, uh, we cause we we trying to snap. We ain't trying to rap. We ain't trying to cat. We trying to snap. Let's go. All right. The next question comes from Jessica again, and she says, "Jess, Jess with the mess." Do you know? Do you know that hater Blondie? She sounds like a salty ex. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm putting up. Hey, right now I just turn on the uh, the AC the AC seats <laughs> for the haters. Cause my back getting hot for all the haters. My back got. He just just for asking this question. No, I have no clue who Blondie is. I have no clue who Blondie is. I have no clue who my name is. I have no clue who any of them are. I definitely don't know Blondie because Blondie don't even know how to spell my name right. So I definitely don't know her. She does sound like a hater on the front line. I'm gonna hit the block for her one more time. She does sound like a hater. My name sounds like a hater. I don't know why they hate on me. I have no clue, but what I do know is they ain't gonna stop nothing. That's what I do know. And I know that some people be mad, they need to get glad, they need to get some bags. That's what they need to do. They need to worry about them and stop worrying about what I'm doing. And they're definitely not one of my, I definitely never did the ex, de definitely never did nobody like that ever in life. I think that me and my if any ex I ever had, you know, we have a good understanding that you know I don't play games like that. So absolutely not. They would never, they wouldn't dare. Never. <laughs> Especially to become a first off, in order to be a hater, you gotta have this in your blood. This thing, this just don't come. Like it gotta be like this this gotta be in your blood. Your people's probably been hating all the time, and this has to come within you. So if me dating you, I would notice little stuff like that. So absolutely not. Absolutely not. I have no clue to hear who they are. Okay, the next question comes from Eric, and he says, how long before you get reactivated on Spark? Too soon? <laughs> <laughs> he want me to be back on the, all the way. He turned up to all. Let me do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it for you. Just, just you, Eric. All the way, Spark the, All the way, Spark the, I don't know if we ever get uh, reactivated on Spark, baby. They kicked us off, man. I, this is coming with the territory. This is how I look at it, man. It is what it is. It ain't my app. I'm just out here trying to get busy, and they kick us off, baby. And I know that some people, oh, you did this. Man, look. Mind your business. Don't worry about what we did. Don't worry about what we doing. Mind your business if you out there hate. But I don't know if they're ever going to even put us back on Spark. It is what it is, baby. We got to keep on. See, this is the thing. See, see, I'm what this is, this is what I'm showing y'all on the channel. I'm showing y'all the good and bad and ugly. 
I'm showing you I gotta keep up with spark and we gonna keep on moving. We gotta keep on moving. Keep it moving. You gotta keep moving forward. You can't sit there and dwell on, oh my god, uh uh. Nobody cares nothing about none of that. We gotta keep on moving, you gotta keep on grooving. We'll be getting this money, cause you know it's soon. But I will also say this, Aaron. Guess what? We did get a tip on one of the subscribers. You shall see for giving us that tip, baby. And guess what? I don't matter of fact, where my phone is. Where my phone is? Get my phone. Let me show you. We on the wait list, baby. I just wanted to <laughs> be on the wait list. So if you hey, if you want them haters and you watching this video, we are on the wait list in our area. I just wanna let you know. I just wanna let you know. They might let us go again. I don't know if it is or not, but either way it go. We look, we still trying to get this door. Y'all already know, let's go. Okay, the next question comes from Elmo Cake again, and they ask, is your business partner your girlfriend or wife? Elmo Cake, 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 Cake. 500,000, I got a power case. Y'all need no comment below if y'all know what that is. It's a bug all in this joint. No, Elmo Cake, she's not my wife, she's not my girlfriend, she's my business partner. Business partner, baby. Both of us are married. Guess what? We married to the money. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say, baby. That's all I'm gonna say to you. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, the next question comes from Rideshare Lisa, and she asks, why don't you try dinner? Maybe that will be better. Rideshare Lisa, what's going on? Huge shout out to you for asking this question. Huge shout out to you for watching all the videos and all that stuff too. Um, we actually did try the dinner ship, and it actually wasn't that bad. It's just that traffic, man. I just don't really like the traffic like that. I ain't gonna lie. That traffic people be sightseeing, driving slow, it be a lot going on, and I feel like the restaurants kind of take longer with the orders because it's like it's dinner time, so they gotta do more stuff. So that's why I kind of think that it's, we did do it though. We did make $77 in like two and a half hours, so it wasn't bad at all. I just don't like the traffic, really, that's, that's the only reason why. Other than that, I do it, I, I, you know, I'm, I do it. We used, to do all, we used to do them all the time. We used to do the breakfast all the way to brunch, like the two o'clock, and then come back out at five, and then go to eight, nine, ten, whatever time we got off. We was doing that at the first beginning, but uh, after a while, I ain't gonna lie. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it G real with you, cuz. Sparks spoiled us, I just wanna tell you that. Sparks spoiled us, and we was getting off so early, that I got so used to getting off early, that it was like, I ain't trying to do dinner ship no more. That's what happened. That's just, that's, that's, hey. That's what happened, baby. Okay, and this is the last question. It comes from Ibram's Travels, and he says, what is the number or the email that they need to get his friend started on Spark? It's been three months, and they've heard no word. Spark. Let me see. Give me my phone. I'm going to give you this phone number, man. I, look, look. Hey, tell him I sent you two. <laughs> hey, tell him. Tell him I sent you two. I'm going to try to go on. I'm going to go on my Spark app right now try to get this phone number for you. I don't know. I think you should probably try to go to DDE, but I'm trying to help you as much as I can. DDI. I mean, DDI. I said DDE. What is, what is DDE? Uh -huh. Oh, DDE is a YouTube channel. They've got the anxiety cars and all that. Let me pull up right here. That's what I'm doing. I'm pulling up just for you, man. Hey, smash the subscribe button just for this. Smash that like button just for this. Let me try. Dang. Sometimes uh, my spark thing be tweaking. It don't let me go all the way in. Let me see. It keeps on like kicking me out every time I try to type buttons. Comment below and let me know if that happened to you too. Let me go, cause you know my my stuff's still locked on. You know, context call driver support right there. We gonna call him. Oh, the phone number is eight five five seven four three zero four five seven. Let me say it one more time: eight five five seven forty three zero four five seven. One more time, cause you know they say in order for people to understand stuff, you gotta say it three times. Eight fifty five. 743-0457. We thank God for our blessings. Um, the thing that we did was kept on just checking the DDI website to see if they had did anything. That's pretty much what happened. And then one day I woke up. No, it was like in the middle of the night, actually. And I was on. That's what happened. I think it is. I don't know why it takes so long. I think it is because they go through a third party. So that's why I think the DDE is a third party. And they go through them to get the spark people. So that's why it takes so long. I don't know, but definitely call that number and try to see what you can do, or even try to call DDI if you can. I call both of them. Both of them. And that is the end of the video of Vet Talk Episode 1. I need you guys to comment below and let me know if you guys want more episodes like this. If you want the Vet Talk, if you want the roof off, if you want... <laughs> oh, if, hey, guess what? I want to say this to all the haters. To all the haters out there, I want to say we ain't blocking no blessings. 
We ain't hiding nothing from God. We ain't hiding nothing from God. It's all they say, oh God, that we ain't hiding nothing from God. Hold on, wait, let me roll the windows out too. We ain't hiding nothing from God. We receiving all our blessings, baby. Let them shower on us, baby. We receiving all our blessings with the roof off. Huge shout out to Sugar Man on that, because he came up with that. Nothing to hide from God. Huge shout out to Sugar Man for that. But um, I'm, I'm glad you guys tuned into this video, and I hope that you do like this. I would like to do more stuff like this. And if you guys would like me to go ahead and comment below and let me know if you liked it. Uh, let me know if you think I should change about it. Just and, oh, maybe give me some more questions. So I'm probably gonna try to do these on Sundays, like Sunday nights. Cause Sunday, I don't know for some reason, guys. Sunday is starting to be my favorite day. I don't know why. It just it's just my favorite day. I don't know why it just is. So I'm trying to start doing these on Sunday. Comment below and let me know if you guys are interested in that. But I hope, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I really appreciate all the love and support. I appreciate every last one of you that asked the question, that, that, and that is to subscribe to the channel, or even if you ain't even subscribed, even if you like, but do hit that subscribe button, do hit that like button, and give me a thumbs up, baby. It's Rome Vesky, and we in the Vettatini. We got the roof off like Houdini. I'll see you guys on the next one.